How good did you feel? You were pumped, huh? Oh yeah, dude. I was, was like, it was sick. I was like, that was one of those like, was like, that was gnarly. That, like, like yeah. that was one of those. Yeah. Just like, okay, like that. That was a good race. Yeah, like I got the whole shot and I just kind of ran away. Like I rode really good. Like those races obviously are good, but that was one where I was like, damn, I'm kind of bad at. Like that was. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we are live right now. Um, thank you guys for coming out. Um, mm -hmm. Welcome back to a Good Dudes Pod. Today we are welcoming Austin Forkner and Gas, the oh, boys, the Fucking gang, the all fun boys. Dude. He is a, just a motocross dude, like all around motocross dude, and you're just an all around film dude. <laughs> exactly. Red cam. That's way to put it. Red that was cam the best to explanation. The gills, you know, just on. I really wanted to talk about your guys' all fun brand because that was like one of the first things that kind of caught my my attention more because it's a little switching up like the game in a sense on like you know your traditional writers like they're doing like their own personal YouTube um, you know I don't I don't know how to explain it like you guys are actually branding in yeah a sense. They're, I feel like most of like you can see the writers like Craig they do like a family style vlog and like. I think the only other person that does it kind of like us is Barsha. He does pretty high quality vlogs, and I know his filmer like is pr pretty good at it. But they do it like almost really? like more of a series, not more of a vlog. It's I've never even seen Steve. those. I, I've never seen those yeah, either. That's pretty really good. Like his, their their filmer Jack kills it. But yeah, I feel like me our or well, our shit and their shit is like the only stuff that's like more of a higher quality and more like. I do. Well, that's because you're gas productions. You're the best quality in the game. Like, I yeah, no, <laughs> but game. I mean, it is it is a really high quality camera you actually use too. Yeah, and so like, yeah, Barsha's guy uses a red, as do I. And some of it, a lot of the time, I don't though. I like using my little DSLR. It's way easier just to get the natural like everyday movements. The only parts where I use my really nice camera is in the riding most of the time. But like, it's easy like because I can teach Austin how to use my little Panasonic and yeah. he, he could film me, I could film him and he knows how to turn it on. I'm terrible. Really? <laughs> I'm terrible. I can't He's not film. that bad. I, I'm like, I, I'm like, I try to do it, but like with the zooming and stuff yeah. and then refocus, I can't do it. I'm shaky. My problem is I'm shaky. I'll laugh and I'll be like shaking the camera the whole time. Yeah. That's my problem. I like the red. When I you set me up at Elsinore on it that day when I was filming Shane, and that was yeah. the coolest <laughs> camera I ever filmed Jackson on. Was, yeah. <laughs> it's weird because people get so intimidated by it, but like, oh yeah, I mean, you like you're not like a filmer on an everyday <laughs> basis. And when I gave it to you, you were just like, oh cool. And I told, I was like, this is how you do this, this is how you do that, and you just kind of ran with it for Dude, a while. Dude, it is I, the cool. I've seen you mess around with it because like everyone should be able to like experience using a camera like that, whether you can afford it or not. And it's. It's dope as fuck. It is it's really sick. cool. Like, it's just yeah. seeing the, like, you can just tell the quality while you're like just holding it. And looking you feel at like it. you're shooting a movie yeah, when you're a recording movie with it. Camera, yeah, right? it, like they shoot. They've shot Avatar in red, and like a See, few that's other big feature Avatar. film. They it's crazy. That, yeah. Transformers. Yeah, yeah Transformers. Transformers on damn, red. damn. So that's what all fun is going to to the Transformers uh, level. See, I'm a, <laughs> I'm a big fan of the Team Fried. Like, yeah. I always like Team Fried. You know, Jason Anderson's always been pretty cool to me, and Jackson's been known him for a while. But, like, that's kind of what I see, like, the route kind of going. You know, Team Fried and, like, you guys all fun. Like, these brands, I feel like, are just overpowering, like, your personal accounts. I think yeah. I think it's cooler than, than – well, because that's – I've had like merch before. Yeah. Like we've sold like merch, like Austin Fortner. But it's it's so like motocross is sick, but it's so limited. Yeah. Like we 100%. wanted to do something to where like we can branch out and have opportunities. If this blows up, like maybe take it we don't know I mean, take it to like where Supreme is. Yeah, or, and, and, like, That's just, what's so cool we about go YouTube. Somewhere like that yeah. to where we can do anything, not just be Austin Fortner merch right. we, don't want to, we want to do a stuff like like not just we want to be able to branch out into stuff that's outside of dirt bikes and but obviously our main you know Niche. fan base yeah. is going to be dirt bikers yeah. but if we can you know i eventually we're going to start we're going to get you know people that aren't just into dirt bikes right. and like you know like and that's what whenever we were talking about it and then talking about like eventually coming out with like like apparel and stuff i was like if I was a normal guy and I walked into whatever the mall or wherever, if I was looking for clothes online, I wouldn't 
buy something that's if i wasn't into dirt bikes i yeah. wouldn't buy something that's dirt bike related or buy exactly. ride dirt bikes i want to be able to see something just be like oh yeah that's a sick shirt i don't even know what the brand is i don't know anything about it but it's that's, a good that's name. cool it's good yeah name too. exactly yeah exactly and it's something exactly it don't matter yeah. like if you're a middle school kid or a high school kid or a grown-ass yeah, man like you could it's all fun yeah like if people could buy that yeah and like i think the biggest thing and like you guys know this about clothing it's not like you're not trying to sell austin forkner like yeah. Okay, it's cool. Like, yeah, maybe we'll come out with like a signature race tee, something that those older fans can wear. But the biggest thing I think is showing a life, like lifestyle. It's like showing your lifestyle, yeah. how you guys live, or like how you guys want to dress. And like, I'm into like some LA fashion, more of like the vintage clothing look. And he's kind of the same. He always that's rocks a good, band tees. And, yeah, and that's cool. blowing up right that's now. That's a good yeah. area to be in at the moment too, because you know, especially with your brand, like you guys can know how to adapt to every new trending thing. Oh, yeah. And, you know, like, uh, I feel like a lot of people out there, like, have an ego for their clothing, you know, like, oh, I can't step out of, like, you know, your traditional black yeah. tees. Like, like, nah, I need a dirt bike on this shirt, <laughs> you know? Like, yeah. not not every shirt's yeah. going to have to have a dirt bike on yeah. it, you know? And, like, yeah. when somebody sees it at the track, they're going to be like, dude, holy shit, they may say awesome Forkner. Yeah. But what I heard on the Full Send podcast was they, they talk about how, you always want whatever you're creating to be bigger than you. So you want like, yeah. so right now you have Austin Forkner. Yeah. You want all fun to be bigger than Austin. Yeah, Forkner. exactly. Oh yeah. That's we want it to I, take it places where, and that's what I want it to be able to branch like me out. Like yeah. I want to be able to branch Cause right. Like I'm, I'm really limited and I'm a professional dirt bike rider. Yeah. That's, um, that's all I'm going to be at least for the near future. I, that's, that's it. So taking it to all fun where we can branch out and do other stuff, just have yeah. the ability to, to go other places that's, with the that's brand the and not just in motocross. That's yeah. the competitive part in you too though, huh? Yeah. It's yeah. like, you're going to have to, you have to like, you know, di like you, in my eyes have dialed in motocross for like insanely amount. Like, but you are the type of person I feel like you just want to like, make sure you're taking wins and retire on a good note. Like, yeah. Well, like that's what, that's what, um, we uh we recently have kind of i've kind of became friends with one of the guys i don't know if you guys know who sleeping with sirens are the band yeah, yeah, they're yeah, like yeah. they're like a punk rock yeah, band and yeah. we went to their we went to some of their concerts and their bass player is super big into dirt bikes really and yeah. like we're like all right like there's an opportunity if this guy could you know is wearing an all fun shirt. He was wearing a Honda shirt on stage during no the shit. If he had an all fun <laughs> shirt, dead stock like HRC, yeah, like HRC, HRC shirt. Big. Yeah, that's cool. And we're like, dude, if that, like, then we're reaching out and getting into the music side of things. Dude, like, that's that it's so, so sick cool. just where you can go with something as and simple guys, as selling shirts. Dude, that's and, like, so that's, cool. it's cool. It's like, dude, that's and obviously YouTube. we're not there yet, like, but just, that, yeah, the exactly. expansion yeah. and like the opportunity you get out of an audience, it's just life changing. Cause like, I never thought we would be where we were with our audience. We weren't even targeting like a motocross audience. It just kind of happened because of the people we started falling into place with. And now I'm like racing motorcycles for the channel. And like, I was, I never wanted to ride a motorcycle again. <laughs> that was why I started making YouTube videos. Yeah. And then now it brought me back into it. And like, he doesn't even really ride BMX anymore. And that's what he, we started the channel. It was a BMX channel, yeah. ideally. And like, yeah. it just, everything circles back around or takes off in a different direction yeah. and you don't even know where you're at and you're, you're just adapting it's kind of just like going with the, the flow on yeah, things too yeah. because who knows like today we ride motocross tomorrow we're like doing something completely different yeah yeah you know like that's why it's cool though yeah, yeah that's like the cool thing about like and you can just attack audiences like you know yeah. you you want like other genres like for you guys like throwing a t-shirt on like on a pretty high level band yeah boom there you go that people are going to see that shirt and that's what's sick like a lot of people like I don't think realize how many like musicians or just people from different areas of the like world actually like supercross. Like you guys have rappers come out with you guys and like ride some dirt bikes or like come yeah. to a race. Like our boy Mickey, he's he's all into it. Like a lot of people don't realize there's a lot of people that like know about motocross or like just are a fan of it that like that are they're, outside. Yeah, they're outside of moto like just kinda silent like, fans. Yeah. Pull up yeah. and it's like Whoever thought K Camp would be into dirt bikes? <laughs> yeah, like, bro. Yeah. Watch him yeah. send it too. Yeah, he's out there <laughs> sending shit on a 110 where I personally wouldn't even send. And it's just like, why not use that? If we can, like, somehow, like, I've always I played drums since I was like eight or nine years old, and I stopped to get into filming. But it's like, 
if we can get like have some homies in the music scene, have some homies in like the fashion lines and like just like make connections anywhere we can where it could help us expand and just like experience different things is yeah, like, exactly. what I think is like what we want to do with the brand. It's we like, could be yeah. involved in other things we're interested in other than just yeah. like filming yeah. dirt bikes and stuff. And that's like, he cool. was like, it'd be sick to film a concert. And I was like, dude, I've, I listen to music oh, constantly. That. I just like music. We, I'm into cars and it, like just reaching That's out, cool being able you to, to go different places. Cause yeah, I yeah. feel like the outside audience looking into you, like, like obviously you're, you're nonstop, like on your program, but like you, you have like outside things you're interested in. It's yeah. not only so motocross. That's what people you know? are like, Oh, what do you like? I'm like, I, dirt bikes are the main thing, but they're not the only thing. I do so much more than just dirt That's bikes. That's cool. Like, you want to expand your horizon yeah. in a lot of different like uh, yeah. situations. Like you read, you used to ride scooters, right? And bikes? Scooters, bikes. Yeah. I, I actually just built up a new BMX. Oh, yeah. shit. We I, need ride. Ride I, I need to ride it. I know. I need to ride it. I need to ride it. I know. It's yeah. it's sick, but yeah, I need to Especially ride it. Especially that new place that's coming in in Menifee. That place yeah. is insane and perfect for like, if you haven't rode a BMX bike in so long, Yeah, it's it's Perfect. like a chill spot. There's it's a pump track, track, and then you go from spot. the pump track to the small jumps, and then you go to the meat from the meat small jumps to the medium jumps. Like it's crazy how they created that thing. It's perfect. Yeah. When's it gonna? Is it ready? Or so in November, gonna... the beginning of November, oh, I'm excited to go session that place. Yeah. It's probably gonna be packed full of kids, but we gotta get the oh, morning yeah. sessions. Yeah, that's it's the most good training too. Yeah. A lot of the moto kids are doing the whole. I mean, because all these pump tracks are popping up, so all the moto kids are training on the pump tracks. My and... my trainer. Um, he likes when I ride BMX. He tells me, he's like, for cardio, you can just go ride BMX today. He's, he tells me to do it because he says in, he says it's helped me, um, well, just with overall bike skill, just like being able to that's what I was pump, versatile, like, like yeah. pumping. And that's like good for like, like pumping through, pushing through jumps on a super cross track, <laughs> that, that pushing is. through when you have to angle, maybe it's a, it's really steep that you have to jump and you have to angle the bike down into it to catch like transition and escape. Right. It's kind of like what you do on, on a supercross track too. Like if it's super, you can't just jump everything like this. You got to like how you flow a BMX bike. Yeah, you kind of do the same thing with the dirt bike. And I've had my uh, trainer, he's like, how, how long has it been since you've been to a skate park? And I'm like, it's been a minute. He's like, I think you should go. I think you need to, like, he, he's told me that after watching me ride. He's like, I think you need to go back to the skate park a couple, start going like a couple days a week because oh, that, 100%. This, those little yeah. things that just cross training like that is, it's, it's fun. So it's also, you don't even realize you're getting in good cardio yeah. and good exercise, but it's like good for just overall bike skills. Dude, there's too. a lot of dirt bike dudes out there that, that can't even hop off a curb on BMX bikes. <laughs> and, but like the, the crazy part is, is like the weight difference is what screws them up. Yeah. The you're, weight you're difference. You're heavier than the bike but, most of the time. Yeah. You yeah. put it in perspective. Like if you could master the, the small little weight on a BMX bike, all the small little movements, like everything's a lot more tedious when you turn. Yeah. Like it, the whole thing is like, you have to crank a fucking dirt bike to turn the dirt bike. Like you have to actually, yeah crank that thing around so if you're getting these small little bike controls like i i could tell that it would definitely help on your your program yeah it's, sure. it's funny because i i uh can see whenever whenever bmx guys ride dirt bikes and i can see the, the thing that's the thing that's weird for for a bmx is is figuring out like how much different it is with the inertia of the bike because on a bmx bike you just kind of you make it do what yeah. you want it to and like throwing a moto whip on a bmx bike you never really like bring it back all the way <laughs> like you land sideways no. that's like that's like we're on a on a like dirt bike like i see guys when they're learning to whip like they and they leave it and they're like oh like well, you yeah have to use the that's why like most whips you hit the rev limiter because you're using the like the inertia of the motor to bring the bike back around we're on a bmx bike you don't have that so it's it's well, like a a BMX just, bike is like a mid jump movement. You hit the lip and then you start turning kind yeah, of deal. Yeah, you know, like a yeah. moto is just all taking your body weight off the lip or whatever. Yeah, or really gotta, getting into you that crank lip. Crank it off the face. Yeah. yeah so like yeah. when they switch over like to a motorcycle, <laughs> you'll see like a BMX guy and he'll hit the jump and then like tweak his legs out or whatever. Yeah. yeah <laughs> you exactly. got dudes like me. You guys are killing me. I'm the guy yeah, that does scary. the butt whips, dude. I'm the guy elbows down on the oh. track doing butt whips, like 
Dude, I, and like me in my head, I'm like, that was actually pretty sick. <laughs> <laughs> I see a video of it. I'm like, dude, don't show that to anyone <laughs> no. ever. No. <laughs> we got to delete that clip. That's funny. But yeah, that is true. Great cross training. Is that like what your, what's your training program like as far as, are you like road biking? Yeah. It's, shit like it's that? mostly like road biking and I'll, I prefer mountain biking over road biking just because it's more fun. I prefer just ride. And there's so many trails around. out yeah. here. Yeah, I Greer. I mean, we oh, live Greer like Ranch, right across yeah. the road from Greer. So um, there, but right now I only have a road bike out here. So I've just been road biking and running and gym stuff. Um, but I need to get back into doing like other stuff other than because yeah. it just gets like yeah when you, the routine when you're doing all the, it just gets yeah the routine just gets like uh, this again this again when you can break it up at least some of the like gnarlier stuff you just got to suffer through like you mm-hmm. just got to do it but some of the stuff like a base 130 to 140 heart rate just bike ride for hour hour and a half i can go to the skate park and get the exact same thing exactly like, or the pump track keeps it more whatever. fun too yeah just to switch it up every now and then it keeps yeah. it more fun and makes yeah. it feel like you're not just grinding every like you're gym doing something hours clock fun yeah, yeah rowing exactly. machine yeah yeah just, yeah, yeah, like, yeah exactly. what is, so what about like Especially when you're like coming, off, you're coming off an injury right now. Yeah, shoulder. Like so, like what's like your proper training for that? Like what was like coming out of that, like right away? Like you obviously need to get your recovery and then like slowly getting back. Yeah, I Is mean, that more like your road bike. And yeah, I never that? really even hard. Like I stopped for a couple weeks right after surgery, but um, because I've messed, I've had like three shoulder surgeries on the shoulder this year Damn. since December. So basically, so I wouldn't just wait until it got better every time i would just be in a sling on like a stationary bike just like sitting in the yeah. house pedaling on a stationary bike and doing legs in the gym just wow not so you were able to you were arm. still able to like i still do like work legs on yeah else. and it was just like running that i couldn't do because it would like yeah. bounce oh, yeah. so it was just basically bicycling but then you got um, to a point where you could do bands and yeah like band stuff that's that's where i was band stuff and then once i got released uh, I waited, I think another week or two and started lifting actual weights in the gym before I started riding. So yeah. I did like band stuff, then normal weights and then like a couple weeks of that and then into riding. And then once I ride, that's more abusive than anything else is going to be. So like once yeah. I ride, I'm like, all right, I can go back to full weight at the gym. I can do pretty much anything well, because riding's is well, that's true. What you should ride right now. Like if you were to go ride, is it just not good for Whoa. you at all? No, it's like, a fly in or some shit. it's like, as far as like a percentage wise, it's probably like 80 or 80, but you want to make sure to get to that hundred. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's not bad though. Like just if I, if I ride too much or if I'm like, it's not even like, cause I can throw whips and stuff. It's just like, if the track's super rough right now and it's just just beating on it all day and I ride too long, it's sore. Like it's like the next day it's sore. So I just got to like kind of pace myself a little bit right now, which serious training hasn't started yet. Like I'm still just kind of riding, getting back into the flow of things. I could tell the, the, the crazy competitive side of you is like, cause when I seen you guys at the, the nationals, like you were, I could just tell you were like so wanting to be out there. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like yeah. you wanted to be out there. I hate racing. Yeah. Even that, even that it was hot, hot as shit. It was like one fifteen or whatever. God, that was, it was. such a bad. Oh, race. Did it didn't look fun, but wow. still like, and I was like, man, this sucks. Like this doesn't look fun at all. But I'd still like to be out there. But, <laughs> I, but I could wax <laughs> these fools. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Let me tell you, it sucked being out there. It sucked. Yeah, yeah. It was hot it, it's as crazy because you. I feel like. Since you're since the obviously the the first crash like and your shoulder happened, you haven't been able to showcase like your full riding potential besides yeah. like and when you came back you came back hard yeah Atlanta that heat race you hadn't even gotten to show everybody yeah. your national <laughs> skills yeah no I know it it I got sixth at the first race which wasn't bad I mean last year I had a terrible outdoor season six was my best finish all the year last year so that was my first I was like okay that's fine. I'll work up, get some podiums by the end of the year, maybe even a win or whatever. So it, it'll be fine. Um, but I was taking so much pain meds that throughout that day. Like mm. they give you, they're allowed to give you Tordal shots at the, at the medical rig, but mm. only two. And then I was taking, I took a bunch of Advil before that. And they're like, did you take any Advil? Nah, nah I, didn't take any. <laughs> <laughs> I took a bunch before that. Then got the shots, and then he said, "Oh, if you combine um, the Toradol shot with a sorta of, with a, uh, I think it was Tylenol, 
it gives you some of the effects of like a Norco, like a real pain med. So okay. I was like, You're like, where's right, the Tylenol? Cool. Sure, whatever. <laughs> yeah, yeah give me through right this race. Pain, so yeah. I was taking so many pain meds, like legal, not like real pain meds, but like just a lot. And after that race, I was like, guys, I was like, I can be there. I, I asked them really. I was like to my team, I was like, look, I'll, I can be there every race. But unless I get it fixed, it's not going to get any better. Yeah. You, so it was, yeah, yeah, just a race. Hold on. Like, yeah. I, would, race and I was like, yeah, I was like, if you guys expect me to get better throughout the season, it's probably not going to happen. I'm like, it's just not like, and if I fall on it, I'm like, I'm it could done. be longer like, yeah, process. Yeah. The yeah. So it's like, yeah. it's pull like it right there. One of those things. Get healthy. Yeah. yeah. So I just, I, I specifically remember your race back, like in the Supercross. I forget where it was. But it was like your first race back after you got hurt in the beginning of the season. Yeah, you came back swinging. It was Atlanta heat race. That's yeah, what it yeah, was. that it was, was an insane. outdoor like in at like the NASCAR track. Yeah, like the outdoor. What oh, you wait, it was. On that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? Were you ended up placing on that? Yeah, I was. I was. Well, you won your heat. Yeah, I won the heat. Yeah, that's. And what then I, I was in like, I was in third, I believe, in the main, and caught a tough block and went down, and then got like I think I got fifth or sixth or something. Yeah. But but the heat race was. I was down, or I wasn't down, but me and Jet both got stuck in the first turn behind somebody that did fall, or maybe he fell, and I was stuck behind him. And I came back in six minutes from last to first yeah. and got Hampshire on the last yeah, lap dude. right before That's the finish. That's so crazy. So that was like, that was like because I, I knew it was just a collarbone, and I got it plated, and I was like, I'm not going to lose any fitness. I didn't, like, I just got on the road bike immediately after surgery from that, like, just stationary. I didn't lose anything. It was only three weeks off the bike. And then I had, like, two weeks of riding. So I was, like, five weeks off from racing. And I was like, I'm good. I'm not going to lose any fitness. I'm not going to lose any skill on the bike in three weeks. I'll be fine. And I was like, I, I, was like, I, can, I know I can go back out and win. So that in that Dude, heat race, I, it was, I won. <laughs> it was so insane. <laughs> so that's what, yeah. Like the, the crazy part is that, like those top riders, like, like explaining about those top riders, like that's an elite set. Yeah. Like, yeah. like that is the hardest thing is to get up there and like to miss five races from a gnarly injury and then be already back. Dude, like, I know, it's right? Pretty crap. It was pretty sick. I was with uh, their truck driver who films like their race and stuff because I don't get credentials for the races. So we're at the top of the whole stadium, like. So you just see the whole NASCAR track, and we're just looking at him, and me and the the truck driver, Jim, we're sitting there, and you just see him scrub the shit out of that over-under, <laughs> and the yeah. freaking stadium pops off, and it was the sickest shit, and, like, seeing him come back like that was sick, and, like... Dude, after the race, how good did you feel? You were pumped, huh? Oh, yeah. Dude, I was, that was like... It was sick. I was like... That was one of those, like... Was, like... That was gnarly. That, like, like yeah. that was one of those. Yeah. Just like, okay, like that. That was a good race. Yeah, like I got the whole shot, and I just kind of ran away. Like I rode really good. Like those races, obviously, are good. But that was one where I was like, "Damn, I'm kind of a badass." Like that was, <laughs> that was yeah. the one where it was, no, like, no. it was like you got that one was like that'll make you smile for a while. Yeah, that like, one. Damn, that, that was that felt feeds good. your yeah. adrenaline. Yeah, for sure. exactly. you think about it That's after, what, and you're like, "Yo, almost, what just I, happened?" Yeah, exactly. I was like, "Dude, that was like even like I got off the bike and I was like, my mechanic, I was like, dude." that was that was pretty gnarly and he was like that was like the gnarliest thing i've ever seen I was like, that was cool that's calm like, yeah, right yeah, there. Exactly. was it coming from like obviously like that situation with jet and you guys crashing was that like kind of what fed you more oh i was so pissed yeah that was just like when i came back i was point. just pissed Dude. because then it was the race after that that i ended up winning at foxborough or whatever but like that was just like that was a point proven. Being mad. Yeah. Too yeah. Good. That was just being mad. Yeah. That or just being like, I missed out on like a shot at the championship this year. Yeah. So I was just like, basically. Pissed. And I feel personally yeah. like it probably kind of kept you a little more motivated because you're like, damn, like I still got it. And yeah. Like, you're still ripping. Yeah, like you exactly. can come back or something like that and just be like, well, right yeah, cause, there and winning. Because I didn't, sick. I didn't win a race last year. Um, last year was probably like my shittiest year racing. I got hurt at the third or second or third round and then i didn't come back and race supercross i just got ready for outdoors which is what which is why i came back this year because then outdoors was terrible like i just i hadn't raced outdoors in a few years because i'd been hurt for most of the outdoor races in the past couple of years but last year and then i did just shitty in outdoors like so last year was just a terrible year and so this year i was kind of coming in just like man like 
I, can I still win? Can yeah. I still, like, did I lose it a little bit? And then, so after I got hurt, I was, cause I got second at the first race, which was solid. And I was running third. I was, had third overall in the second race, uh, before I, before I, me and Jet got together. Um, but after that, I was like, all right. I, like, after I came back from that, I was like, all right, fuck it. Yeah. Like, like yeah, yeah. all the little like thoughts before that, like all the little, oh man, am I good enough? I was like, nah, I'm, I, yeah, you I don't gotta, care. You just, I don't care. Vision. Maybe I'm not good enough, but I'm going to try like hell to be good enough. So <laughs> like, that's it. what, you yeah, that's it. what I just like, cause I kind of came in like kind of, all right, let's just make it through the season. Let's just like, I want to get through all the races because I've just been hurt a lot in the past. And I was like, I just want to make every race, get better as the season goes on. So I came in with a pretty, uh, like, pretty hesitant, like, approach. But and then after I, I after out. Yeah, exactly. Because then, well, after the, after the crash with Jet, it was like, look, I can come in and I can be hesitant and I can ride just trying to get through the season. And shit like that can still happen. Like, that was mm -hmm. kind of out of my control. Yeah. So it's like, why would I, there's no point in riding hesitant. And when something, when you can still get hurt, like you I could might be, as well you just go all out. Just your yeah. normal exact, pace yep. and keeping up in like what top 10. Yep. And that could happen. Yeah, exactly. Not, that's, and the cr crazy part is it could not be your fault. Yeah, exactly. That's what I was like. I was like, why would I ride hesitant and just try to make it through the season and try to be cautious and everything? Not, not risk it at, from time to time. Just, just be there at every race and get through the season when I can still get hurt doing that, I might as well send it yeah. and go all out. And <laughs> if I go out, like if I get hurt like that, Hey, I was sending it. Yeah, like, let's like, sure. let's go. Balls you know? So, so would you, you yeah. would consider being in the front of the pack is probably less of a chance to get hurt then. I mean, I mean, if, if I'm going to get hurt, I might as well get hurt trying to win a race. <laughs> yeah. No, not no, battling sure. fifth. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to sure. get hurt. I might as well like, I'm, am I less likely to get hurt when I'm riding cautious and stuff? Probably. Yeah. But still, it can't happen. Like stuff can happen out of yeah. your control, and you can still get hurt. Like, so like the might as well charge. Yeah, exactly. So might as well yeah. be going for the lead. And yeah. if something happens doing that, I can say, hey, I was going for best. a win. <laughs> yeah. And but you know, so I was just like, you know what? Screw, <laughs> screw, trying to be cautious, trying to be. The, I'm just gonna charge do it. what I know how to do, and I end up winning a race again. So that kind of got my confidence back on track and everything. And then obviously I didn't race very many outdoors, but still just getting. Another race win this year was yeah. Dude, I I, fans, yeah. I was pumped to watch it, but like winding back to obviously why you crashed, like that whole situation with Jet and you, like how did that like? I didn't really get to know the whole story on that whole situation. It was basic. So like, um, I seen the crash, but I I didn't really get to get in depth with it. It was basically just like, it wasn't anybody's fault. That's like I or it was. Or I guess it it was. I, it was Jet's fault, but it's not like he did it be trying to take me out. It's yeah. not like he came in and pulled a bar show basically and cleaned me out. Yeah. <laughs> like it wasn't on, it wasn't intentional. It was he did catch that tough block and it sent him and it sent him over. Oh, into the tough me. block yeah. on the lip. That's yeah. it. Yeah, I totally forgot about yep. that. He caught it with his left peg and it and it I know what it's like. When you catch a tough block, it tries to suck it tries to suck you into it. Oh. So it sucks you in and they didn't get pulled all the way into it. So he kinda went, whoa. Kinda got a rebound. Shot it, yeah, yeah, it shot him back to the right. And I knew as soon as he started coming right, I was like, Oh no. I was Ooh, like, yeah. I, that's when everything started you to like it everything slow slowed down. Yeah. Everything went right there. Every I had so much time to just think about what was gonna happen. I was Everybody like, okay. felt it too. I was like, All right, he's oh, coming dude. over. If we touch I'm done. Yeah. If we touch, I need to try to get off the bike because if That's we touch it. and I ride the bike down, I'm going to go bah, and Slap. smack and probably get KO'd, blow my shoulder at like, cause that, that landing was pretty hard. So I was like, if I, if we hit and I go down like this, it's probably going to be worse than if I try to like jump through the bars and I still hit really hard trying to jump through the bars, but I'm but thinking it, it was hopefully it, better than, yeah. than riding it to the ground. Yeah. I, I could, I could, Getting I, away I from the bike is always better than tr than riding it into the ground. Into the ground. Yeah. 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 It's always yeah. better to just save pause the body. It. Yeah, the body. exactly. You've got a 250 pound dirt bike following you if you're holding. Oh on. yeah, that's, yeah. That's, you don't want that impact. That second impact. Yeah, getting followed by the getting chased down by the bike is the worst. That's whenever you get like if you can get away from the bike and kind of ragdoll and just tuck and roll, tuck and roll. 
I mean, usually you can come out of it okay. Decently I, clean. I, got, I, I did though. my, yeah. Bailing from the bike is a talent. Yeah, uh, yeah, definitely <laughs> is a talent. Like that's what, and I, and I hate admitting that I'm good at that, but. Hey, that is, I'm it good comes, at crashing. Yeah, I'm well, good. it's a good thing. <laughs> I would like to say a, I'm pretty decent at it too. Sometimes. Yeah, that's not a, not <laughs> a great, it's not like some, yo, I'm a great crasher. Like, yeah. It's not really something, but, <laughs> you could, but you it could is. You somehow cat-like reflexes to get yourself like off the bike onto your oh, feet yeah. cleanly away yeah like, i'm proud of myself if i get in that situation oh, yeah and i think yeah. you like i mean as a professional athlete and like you guys bmxing him riding like you kind of like know what's the smart thing to do mm -hmm. like you guys know how to roll out to like potentially make an injury not as worse or just not have an injury at all and to like learn that i think it's gnarly like i wouldn't be able to like slow down my mind like, okay i'm gonna jump through the bars right now and then like <laughs> aim for that tough block or like okay i'm not making this double backflip i better like chuck my bike and just like yeah. pray or it's whatever. a it's a it's that a right away it's you that. think it's about just, it it's, yeah, it's crazy like i like i'm sure you know with some of like gnarly bmx shit like you go and you pull right off the lip you're like oh i fucked up like yep. i don't have it instantly. like instantly, instantly instantly you know it and that's the same with like like going for a if I'm hitting a triple like for the first time or, or even like and you in a race in a race right hit away. it hit it hit it one lap I drag peg a little bit and it slows me down and I'm like oh I don't ha I'm not not getting <laughs> I know it before you one. even before you even see the the landing like just off the face I'm like oh I don't have and it and it's such like you have to think just about so many tick. things at yeah, one that, moment yep. and you're like okay off the bike find a soft spot yeah, yeah. but <laughs> sometimes it's not the softest spot yeah. that's knowing your bike too like knowing that feeling of like catching a little kick like in the ass to go over the bars <laughs> yeah. or like even for flips like i always was bailing flips for some reason like i would have a flip greased hit it perfect <laughs> but no matter what if it was my first attempt i bail oh he I was just always bail the first his attempt pit bike he just cleaned up in the garage just cleaned the fuck out of it goes to a backflip he'll just like no matter what he was bailing but it was, like it was just that feeling like this is a little off. Yeah. This isn't 100% get off the bike. Yeah. Like, I don't know why. But he it's was that, so good yeah. at bailing from it. So I was like, oh, okay, well, keep that in your back pocket. Yeah, keep, I guess. <laughs> like, hey, that's like, keep it's, doing it. It's yeah. not a bad thing to be yeah, a good crasher. Exactly. Yeah, it never is. So, but what's your guys' like, uh, relationship now with like Jet? Like, I'm, I mean, we're chill. Like, I mean, it's just, cool. it's kind of, he's... I'm not really like close with very many like other riders mm -hmm. just because like you're in your own zone. I'm man. I'm I'm weird about like about like I don't feel like I can be like like having a conversation, having a friendly conversation, talking shit on the line and then have to go blow you off the track if I need <laughs> to to win a race or win a championship. I'm yeah. just like weird about yeah. that stuff. Like if I got to if I got to clean somebody out and wreck your shot at a championship or your shot at a win and and yeah. a shitload of money like what like i just i just am weird about that yeah. I, I feel like i, I agree can't with that be, I, i'm i'm like weird about making that It'll be, switch. If, you, if you had like, that friendship with them and that happened like you would feel guilty yeah or like oh, really? if, if i put myself in that position and, and somebody cleaned me out like if you're my friend or not i'm still gonna be like like yeah that was dirty yeah, yeah i'm still gonna know? be pissed you know yeah. like you're not and it, at some point, like of either beating each other or hitting each other, I don't, I don't feel like I can be friends through that just constant competitive rivalry yeah. and like, like then not only just like the racing part of it, but winning races and stuff is. I mean, we get paid a lot of money to yeah. win a race and win a championship. It's, it's a, like then you're, line. then you're yeah. yeah, then it's your way of life. I mean, some of these guys are are, you know older and have kids yeah and you're taking these if you take these guys out they're fighting to put put food on the table for their kids like yeah. they're yeah, that like is it get, at that point it's like it's serious like the, like this isn't a game like it's not a game anymore yeah, so, yeah, so, so yeah. like yeah. that at that level it's kind of like i've never right, heard like, that perspective from another rider because i mean it is true you know but it is the game they're in you're in the game for a reason man like you everybody wants to win that's like you're that's like you want to win you have to win yeah and these guys are putting food on the table like they have to fucking win well yeah. it's like and if they get hurt it's kind of damn sorry yeah dirt dirt bikes isn't to the sport of like or isn't to the level of like stick and ball sports like where those guys are making millions oh just to ridiculous. show up. just their contract just to yeah show up. it's like 14 and then, million yeah, they'll, they'll and get, you're the backup quarterback you get paid 14 <laughs> yeah, it's okay. they'll, they'll get some money 
you know, if they win the championship or winning games, they probably have bonus bonus yeah, program yeah. set up or whatever. But like, look, they're good. Like yeah, they're they're yeah. show up, they win a game, they lose a game. Like obviously, yeah, they want to win, but like if they don't, they're still good. Yeah. Dirt bikes is not we're not at that like level yet. Like we're not making yeah. that level of money yet. And some of these privateer guys, especially, like they're guys that aren't on factory teams that are showing up to the races in their own vans and they're fighting they're taking what money they make from one race and using it to get using all of it just to get to the next to race. Get to the yeah. next. So it's like well, yeah, you know, that when, is... when you're like LCQs, like you see those guys get heated when they clean each other and they get fights and stuff. That's why LCQs are so fun to watch. Yeah. Like, but that's like, dude, but the true part of it, you're cleaning somebody out. You just cost me. I can barely yeah. afford to get to the races. It is. And uh-huh. now you're, yeah, exactly. And it's like, how do you be friends with those yep, people? It's, it's, it's so hard to make that. Like it makes me, it, so. I was thinking that, uh, a good example is when Hunter took out Joe in at Paula at the last, yeah. At, you know, and I was like thinking about. I was like, "Yo, Hunter, that's your boy. Like, yeah. how can you do hey, that yeah, to hey, him? Like, yeah, that's, that's like, what, that's like, what I are think. They like, boys, now it's kind of like, like I would have yeah, been like, exactly. yo, we're not friends no yeah, more. Exactly, like, dude, until like, I take you out, we get even. Yeah, like, we ain't exactly, talking. Exactly. <laughs> and then you're gonna be like, after that, if you're gonna be like, hey man, like we're even now, and then he's gonna be like, oh, are we? Yeah. All right. Like and then, then, then it's just then there it's done. So it's like that's I can't really make that. I just have a hard time of like being super, super close with somebody. Like I'll be like, if, if they talk to me, if like once I go to the You're line, blow I don't really say anything, dude. but yeah, if somebody's like says something to me, I'm not going to just blow them off, but yeah. like, I'm not going to initiate a conversation really with yeah. very many people. I mean, there's like a few guys that I would actually go up and start talking to, but um, most of them, it's just kind of like, if you talk to me, I'll talk back. But like, I don't consider us really friends. Yeah, to and the you point seem like, like you you have like a really close circle. Yeah, that's more like your style is like that. Like like ja- that's Jackson's thing too. Like I'm I'm like the social guy that just goes around hanging out. Jackson's just like, dude, I'm gonna hang out with my boys and chill and fucking yeah. keep it tight. You know me, I'm like, dude, I need to get out and fucking. I won't even let yeah. another person in my cod squad. <laughs> like I, I'm hey, so that's why I got that's four me. and hey, I'm just done. <laughs> Is that why when I invite you, you don't join up? <laughs> or are you like, gas like on? Yeah. Players, another group of guys. That's what I, if I ever like play with, with one of my buddies and he plays with guys that I don't, I haven't played with before. Yeah. I'm like, yo, who are these guys? Like, I, don't, uh-huh. I don't like this. Like, yeah. I'm, I'm not I, comfortable. Yeah. I don't like this. Like yeah. I want the same people in it every time. Yeah. That's cool. That's always like a good trait to have too. I mean, like me, I just do that. I need to like talk. I need to talk. I need like to feed my, in like just engaging with people. Yeah. I don't know what it is. Like I just need to do that. And even just meeting new people, I'm always like that. Um, but it could fuck me over because I get too close to these people that are like, dang, that guy wasn't genuine. Yeah. That's it. That's exactly why I've gotten to that point. It's because I've, so you've been I've, I've to had to point. wean through. Well, that's like a good thing about a good thing about being hurt over the past few years and, and coming in as like a, one of the top guys, like expected to like win a lot and then kind of not is you see a lot of the people that are your best friend coming from amateurs into pros that are, oh, yeah, we're, 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 we're here to the end. We're, we're family, dude, like this and that. And then you start losing mm-hmm. and getting hurt. And then those people that were – you had so many friends. Everybody was around supporting you at the beginning. And you then, opened your doors. Yep, you. and then you open your doors, and then people start taking advantage of that and using it against you or whatever. Yeah. And then it's like – It's crazy right. how many people are on your side when you're on top. But like, I mean, in this game for everybody is just such a roller coaster. You know, it's pretty hard to have a, a long career of just staying on top. Hey, it's funny because I have a I have a DM that I saved. Um, it was this guy that he responded after I think it was after the crash with Jet. He DM'd me his first DM to me. It said "fuck you." <laughs> That's oh, I remember it. this one. Just a good fuck after you. <laughs> I won the race. After I won. He said, yo, man, can I get a jersey? Oh. Congrats on the race win tonight. Yo, I homie, you it. forgot it's to delete your DM. Yeah. You forgot to delete the fuck That is, that is it funny. It is so funny. But people, dude, it's, the crazy part is that people don't even realize 
Like what, like what you just said and that what he probably thinks you just don't like, like I read my messages on a lot of them. Like, like I'll like respond to certain people yeah, that same. are giving me like the right stuff. Yeah, but same. like, there's people out there that'll just like probably dog on you just so oh, that you can get your attention. All time, oh. all time. But dude, it, it's, it's more of just online. It's like, dude, that's kind of, that's disrespectful, bro. It's just like, like the, what, what, put yourself in somebody else's shoes. The yeah. most common thing I get is like almost every single time. If somebody comments something negative, they comment something talking shit, and I respond to it, immediately they say, "Oh, bro, I was just kidding. Mm-hmm. I was just, <laughs> I was I'm just actually kidding. a really big fan." Yeah. Or anything I just like want to see if you'd respond. Yeah, it's not. It's like, dude, you're gonna say something. You're gonna take the time to write me a paragraph about how much you hate me and how shitty I am. Not only just at dirt bikes, but I just seem like a terrible person or whatever. <laughs> and then I'm gonna respond back. And then now you're, oh, bro, yeah. I was kidding. I'm actually a big fan. Like, like, keep, like, keep at, it's like, just, just weird. stuff like that. Yeah. It's like, dude, but like, people love to get the response out of a hero or a celebrity it's, it's, or, you know, it's just weird. Whatever. Like, like I don't, it doesn't make any sense, but I don't, sense, but I don't get it. Yeah. yeah. It, it's part of it, though. But you, you you're you're on the it. side of the fence that is getting people to do that. Like, yeah. I, I couldn't imagine myself being on that other side of the fence where I'm like, just commenting just for like, you just, just that to pure just just to satisfaction. Yeah. yeah. Like, and just was, like what put, putting my phone in my pocket and was just like, that was sick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, dude. <laughs> yeah. Like, they're, what? They're, they're texting in their boys group chat. Dude, I just roasted Forkner so bad. <laughs> hey, hey, go check out the comments. It's going to go viral. And it's like, oh, Austin replied now. But it's like, dude, like what is going through their mind? They're just like, yeah, I'm going to make this guy's day shitty. Like, <laughs> there's know, no dude. point. Let's yeah. try to get a jersey. Yeah, yeah that's yeah, not yeah, gonna get you a jersey. Sad. I can tell you that much. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, funny. yeah. If you're saying that to me, you're not getting a jersey. The internet dude. trolls Sorry. are are weird. Sorry. The keyboard Sorry, guys. Yeah, yeah, they're just. I mean, you just have to laugh at uh, laugh at it most. Yeah, of the time because it's just like you can't entertain it. Yeah, too much. I don't even know. You just have to be like, dude, look at this guy. Who is this? <laughs> like, you just gotta have that so, attitude. I, I kind of want to dip into a little bit of you guys too. Like, you're filming come up. Like I, you're kind of like a, like a, a person I don't really know much. Gas about. is my but favorite I know my filmer homie for a while. Yeah, since I the start, I always, I always, I always looked for at? you, dude. Where? Like, where, where, like your whole come up on like why you started filming. Just okay, so it's really weird. I think how I got into dirt bikes, but starting off very start, I grew up in like, L.A. Like a little bit outside of L.A. A town called Woodland Hills. It's like in between Calabasas and I think oh Calabasas. Canoga on the other side. He's one of those kids. Yeah, but well, my parents raised me right. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> I'm not a, I'm a stingy white kid. Or no, you're not at all, actually. Yeah, so I started up there and like pretty average family. Like it was like we grew up. We were the type of the kids that we were out in the neighborhood biking all the time. And like I have a little bit of BMX in my background. And so like one time I got hurt, broke both my wrists, and I was like bored. I wasn't progressing on like BMXing or whatever. And so this kid kind of just said, like, had his camera, and he got his mom's camera all the time with us. And he was like, oh, we'll take some pictures while we're jumping. And so I was taking some, and then he's like, let me try it. So he's taking some, and they're turning out kind of crappy. And it's like, we were kids, so we didn't know it was good at the time. And I was like, kind of said, hey, like, dude, turn the flash on. It's getting a little dark. Like, we need the flash. He's like, no, dude. And I was like, <laughs> give me it. Took the flash out and just shot a quick photo of my first photo. Like, I wasn't even touching video or anything. And I was just like, wow. And all the boys went wild over really? this photo. And we're Damn. like, we're fucking 14, 15. And I, I, I was like, up. that's what we're like. My feeling was like, oh shit. Like, it's not the same feeling as landing like a backflip or whatever. But like, to be able to capture that for your homie and like getting that feeling of like, wow, I just captured like a sick moment for my homie. And like, I was a part of it. Like, that brought me joy in some way because I knew I was never going to be able to get to that level of doing backflips or whatever. Right. And so, like, that's where I kind of fell in love and started dabbling into that. Got into, like, some video stuff because I was getting bored of photo. Started shooting a lot of downhill longboarding, which is fucking gnarly. Really? Dude, downhill longboarding? Yeah. So, listen, this is the funniest shit. <laughs> I, yeah. my, 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 my first car in high school is a Prius, right? My dad had a Prius. And he's oh, like, I love him. My that's dad lame. was like, I'm over this thing. Like, you're taking it for your first car to high school. And I was like, oh, I was giving him so much shit. 
But we used to freaking ghetto rig my camera like with like tape, like some random suction cuts from Home Depot and suction cut it to our hood. Start mobbing down these canyons in like Malibu and shit. What? And these and I'm like driving. And I'm like, oh fuck! I could run over my homie at any. I was gonna say you're moment. trailing your homies like yeah, really it's scary. close. <laughs> <laughs> it's scary. There's a lot of pressure, dude. There's a lot of pressure. But yeah, and so I kind of got into that. And then like my dad always rode like trail road dirt bikes and shit. And like I always grew up riding for like Thanksgiving. We got to the desert. But then I was like, we started like dabbling into tracks. We went to like Gorman track and we was like, oh, I'm going to bring my camera one day. And then like took some photos, met some local kids my age that were riding and they kind of like were hyped on my photos. Like, yeah, you should like come out more with us and kind of just flowed from there. And then, yeah, just like started getting deep into videos, tried like filming way, like my first time, like going to Supercross was probably when I was like, I don't even know, probably like. 13, 14. Damn. And like, so I didn't even know there was racing. Like, or like he grew <laughs> yeah. up and he's known it since he was five years old. He's like, yep, Supercross is a thing or whatever. Like, no idea. And yeah. just started getting more into the scene and fell in love with it. And that's felt, how you connect with a lot of friends too. Like, yeah, just it's instantly. crazy. And like, it sounds weird, but like, I never really like fit in with the crowd I was in, like back in high school. Like, yeah, like we all were really good homies and we were close. But I, there's something about me that's like, yeah, like, this is not me. Like, I don't like, just let's go fucking do this. Let's go do that. Like, or whatever. I was just, like, not into, like, that whole, like, L.A. vibe. And I was yeah. like, which I still like L.A. Like, I like stuff from it. Like, the fashion, the music, all that comes out of L.A. is sick. But I was never into it. So, like, when I moved out here, I was like, I kind of felt at home. Because, like, homies yeah. were like, like, my buddies in L.A., they thought my shit was sick. But they didn't appreciate the sports. So they're like, yeah, cool video. No, yeah, And, nice. like, we're like... I go and film him, and he's, like, just as hype as I am to see the next edit. Dude, that, that yeah, team that's... effort thing is so sick. Oh, yeah. dude, and it's sick. Like, I'll go into my room, close my door for a few hours. I'll come out, like, screaming. I'm like, Austin, we have a fire edit. Like, you need to come watch it right now. <laughs> that's lit. I and like it's that. it's, like, just, like, having that connection with people out here and, like, filming with people and, like, sharing that experience of, like, wow, we just created some art. Like, it's pretty sick. Dude, I will yeah. say the the closest friends that I've gotten like, like really close with in the, the whole motocross industry is filmers yeah. because they're always like, they're always out on the track. Like I buoyed up with octane octane's a man. Octane's sick. Yeah. Like just hanging out with all these like motocross filmers and stuff. It's just like, like that their connections are so broad and you hang out with them and like the connections is just endless. Yeah. It's crazy. Like I, like I have a decent amount of connections just in general everywhere just because like I don't ever try to like, get work out of somebody right away yeah like i met you guys and what we've known each other for almost what two or three years now two, three like years. i've never like asked you guys once like oh we need to do a collab like no I, we've yeah. talked about it yeah for sure but we never even like this is our first time we've sat in the same room and talked for more than like <laughs> yeah three, like for a few hours or whatever. i mean you conversated a lot before uh it was more like you i remember you hit us up like dude it'd be sick to get a, a video and i was i was like bro fuck yeah, yeah let's dude, go but we just never actually aligned yeah, like, like I'm now, sure one day we're going to be doing oh, something Oh, we're cool. going to have to. But I remember the first video that got me hyped on you guys. Culture filmed it. Remember the lakes? Ooh, the, man, the man. I saw that and I was like, who the fuck are these dudes? That like, was the I, coolest I video. Dude. I oh. even claim that as our best video still. Oh. I don't know why, but that vibe of that day just made everything Culture perfect for film. Captured and he it captured it too. amazing. Uh -huh. I, that kid's sick with a camera. And I was just like, I need to figure out who these dudes are. Like, they're wild. And like... <laughs> Me and my friends back home always did some wild shit, but like, you're kind of living in like an LA area where it's like you can't really do shit like you can out here. Like you can go right, ride right. a dirt bike down the street and like you won't really get in trouble for it. But like nah, yeah. where I was living, like you would. So like getting that excitement of like doing shit like that, I was like, damn, like that's some shit like I want to do. I've never really been able to like, hey, like fuck it, let's go pond scheme a dirt bike. Like <laughs> you know, like that's some like not redneck shit, but like I was like hyped on that and like. Like, dude, it's just sick. different and like back to like what you were talking about like la and stuff like i feel like like i am a fan of like just going to la because it's fun yeah but what i feel like why la turned into that stigma of like oh la sucks because a lot of people say that like in general of like certain yeah. areas like la oh they don't like it the stigma is because of the people not the people that were born in la people that it's the people it. that that had like especially nowadays they get one million viewed tiktok yeah and they're like i'm moving to la yeah and they're yeah. like this is it we're i'm going balls to the wall they get to la and they don't give a fuck about nobody else but who's at the top oh yeah, yeah. it's ridiculous like i don't know like i've been to clubs in la i've party down there i've done some events down there and just 
every time I'm there, I get a weird vibe where I'm like, dude, these people are just like whack. Like, it is different. And like, there's definitely, different. don't get me wrong, there's definitely some genuine people that I've met in LA that I, like, I have friends with every day. I call them once a week and we talk about shit, whether it's business, how's your life going, but there's very few. Yeah. And there's a lot of people like, you're just like, dude, like, who cares? Like, yeah. You're, you're, like, you're famous, yeah. who cares? Every, yeah, that's what, every, yeah, we, nobody cares. That's, that's a cool, I mean, there's still a lot of people that obviously, but like, being famous, being like, getting all this, it's not the most, and like, still, like, that's just live life. Yeah, like, like 100%. that's what, like, some people, like, I was just talking the other day about, like, spending money or whatever, like, guys that are, oh, save, save, work, work, work. Oh, I hear all these, motiv- all these, the motivational, the typical, like, motivational TikToks yeah. or whatever yeah. you see, grind, grind, wake up at 4 a.m. and grind till 10 o'clock every single, I'm like, dude. That, like I want to enjoy my life, yeah. Yeah, like yeah, you know, yeah, sure. like like I want to yeah. have a little bit of There's fun. So, there like, is balance in yeah, life. Yeah, exactly. Like, it's like we, let's work, let's work, 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 work from when we're from when we're eighteen until we're thirty or forty, so that whenever we're fifty, we can have it chill. I'm like, dude, People the best part of your out, life yeah. is when you're like mid twenties to thirties. Don't like, burn like, yourself do you out. Where your body can until, handle yeah, a exactly. rough night on something like alcohol, you know? Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're, 50, yeah. you're not chugging a bottle of Tito's, you know? Or like, <laughs> or whatever, like, not, I mean, you probably could, but yeah, that's <laughs> weird. Like, that's how people get burned out. Yep. Yeah, exactly. And it ruins them. Exactly. Like, like, it I've actually always, will. I've always lived by like, dude, I don't care if I'm living paycheck to paycheck or I'm making 50, 80 grand a year, whatever. I don't care. Like I'm at the end of the day, what I live life for is to hang out with my buddies, create cool shit, be comfortable and be like, yeah, be comfortable. Like, yeah, I'm not struggling, but yeah, I would like to be making more money, but it's not the end of the world. I care about the enjoyment of life. Like yeah. just being able to like do shit like we do. We just go to the track every day and make cool videos. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so bad. Is that how I feel like that's how all fun came about was it your guys' Oh, dude, it was weird. Like, my, line, like-minded minds. Yeah, it was weird. Like I was never even really close with Austin. Like it was like me and uh his uh girlfriend, we moved into a house with a couple of buddies and we were living and like so I got really close to her just like talking and like I never even thought of like oh one day me and Austin will be filming shit and like being boys. And I remember when he like came down for a few weeks, like he never really I yeah, like, oh, no, like, yeah. Oh, shit. I mean, yeah. Here. Regular stigma, like, not a lot of people, like, I mean, there's some hate, obviously, that, like, Austin gets towards them. But, like, I was like, eh, like, I never really judge people, but, like, I don't know why. I was nervous. Like, I was like, I mean, I've been, like, hanging out with his girlfriend, and, like, I don't want him to think I'm, like, trying to yeah, be, like, yeah, swoop. Yeah, yeah. I'm just trying to be, like, we were just homies. Like, we're really, we got really close real fast. And, like, so I met him. <laughs> That's funny because the first night that she sent me, like, like a pic, the first time she sent me, like, a picture of, like, her in, in the truck with gas or whatever, I was like, yo, who's that? <laughs> <laughs> she was like, no, 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 no. It, it's gas. Like, you got it. And I was like, oh, it's gas. I'll be out there in two weeks. I'll meet gas. Two I'll weeks. meet gas. Yeah. Yeah. And then I was like, you okay. Stressed him out. I was like, all right, gas is chill. Gas is chill. It's so good. Yeah. Like, and it's like. It was funny because, like, he would come down for a little bit and train out here. And, like, first, like, two or three weeks, he would just, like, we would walk out because our rooms were right back to back from each other. He would walk out, walk out. It's like, what's up, dude? What's up? <laughs> and that was the extent of our conversations every day for, like, a few months. And I was like, fuck, dude, this guy don't like me. <laughs> and I was like, and I was like, and the Riley's like, oh, he's a little shy. Like, just, like. Like, just start, like, trying to, like, egg him on. I was like, okay, let's play Call of Duty, dude. We're playing yeah, Call of that Duty. was the thing. Was is I, I think Riley was, like, was, like, because I, cause I played I played Xbox while, while we still lived with our friends. And then, and she was like, yeah, Gas has got, like, a PC and stuff. And, like, I'd never, like, looked, been in his room or, like, looked in there or whatever. He was like, I was like, well, what is, does, what, does he play any good games? She's like, I don't know. He plays, like, a shooter game. I was like, Call of Duty? <laughs> because, like, hold He's up. Like, that light bulb. Up. We could become friends if he plays Call of Duty. <laughs> this guy's not quick. so bad Real anymore. Quick. It takes a night, and we're like this on Call of Duty. So that's so. crazy. You guys moved in with each other when you guys didn't really even know each other. Dude, it was we weird. Yeah. Like, we were just staying at a friend's house. She, she was out. Riley was out here for um, just for modeling stuff out here. Mm-hmm. And he was out there, and I came out. I came out um, before we had a place out here and we were just staying at a friend's house and we just kind of hooked up 
And then and I we just were, moved down here, by the way, so I didn't really have that many friends yet. Like, yeah, because you were telling us for a long time about moving down here. Yeah, yeah, like I was at like at one point I was living on Mumford's couch for a little bit. Like I'd come down two weeks at a time, do some videos for him, and like just try to get my name out in the scene and see if it was an option to move out here. And then so like I was still fresh, freshly moved out here, and I was like, "Fuck, I need to like find some homies that I not just sit in my room all day and play video games with like stuff I could we can go do shit." And, like, I was still nervous trying to make friends. Like, it's always, yeah. like, hard to make friends. Like New place, yeah, In a new sure. place. And it's, like, yeah, I'm from, like, like a lot of dirt bikers don't like L.A. So, it's, like, kind of weird. You're, like, oh, shit. Like, am I just going to look like... It's like, different scenes yeah. for sure. Like, yeah. And so, it was weird to, like, hop in it. And, like, we kind of just buoyed up over video games, to be honest. And then... And then I got a place. And he was, like, honestly, I'd like to get a bigger room. And just so I can have... He can have his gaming set up, but he... I was like camera set up and all just stuff. like a better workspace. Yeah, just that a wasn't really yeah, working yeah. good. Like I literally, like, my room was small. Like I would literally have like a plastic little table like this, crammed up next to my bed in the closet. It was like a ten by twelve room, and I was like, dude, I can't work like this. I'm a person that like I need space to think. You need a good workspace. I need a room yeah. where I could pace back and forth and think of, <laughs> like brainstorm an idea or just like think of an idea. And so he was like, yeah, like if you want, like there we got a sick room for you, like. You can move in. And I was like, okay, like, yeah, I'm down. Like, I need that opportunity. And I was, like, kind of, like, scared. I was like, dude, like, he's let me move in with him. Like, and, like, I'm not a big fanboy, but it's still cool to, like, see someone that's, like, big in the sport be like, hey, like, come move in with us. Like, yeah. And it's like, dude, I just came friends with one of the best 250 guys. It's yeah, we probably cool. only we probably only actually knew each other for, like, a month before we moved in. Really? Yeah, so it was yeah. really yeah. fresh. Especially when really you're fresh, filming yeah. people in the sport. So to get someone that's yeah. high up, you're like, okay, my filming game can benefit from this as well with the connections I can build. Yeah, yeah. and, and it's weird. you thought, too? Like, like, when he moved in, you're like, oh, cool, filmer. Like, maybe we can go film some dirt bikes. Yeah, I, I wasn't really, like, like we didn't, you were really, on your own we didn't really film all that much. Yeah, like, we didn't, we didn't really film anything. That. He was like, I'll be at the track. And we'd see each other at the track and say what up. And get be like, some clips, yeah, maybe. Yeah, he'll give, like, a little Insta edit or whatever, every, whatever, every now and then. But, like, it was never, and he, he was like, hey, have you ever thought about doing, like, YouTube? And I was like, yeah, actually, I have some vlogs on there. And the vlogs were literally on, like, my GoPro. The GoPro. Yeah, GoPro. GoPro. They were, they were like, so bad. They were, but, and, hey, fuck it. Hey, but then I was <laughs> like, I actually trying. have, like, a decent, um, like, not crazy, but I already have a star at, like, 3,000 subscribers or something. It wasn't crazy, but I was like, we got, I got something. And he was like. We had, like, a base. You one know? night, yeah, he just perfect. comes out the next morning of it like we just that's this is about the extent of our conversation we were like hey like maybe we should make some videos that'd be pretty cool and it's like yeah i was like i'm i'm down the next morning he comes out and he's like bro Dude, so I got everything. He, he had like. <laughs> Wait, let's, he let's came out with a he bit. spent the let's night brainstorming. Yeah. 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 Let's Look, stop yeah. a little bit because like me when I when I get like I go out and have a sick film day. Dude, I don't know what it was about this day. We made some of the sickest shit. It's our first YouTube video that's on our channel now, and it's just an insane video. Yeah, but I come home, and it's like, all right, dude, I'm, it's going to be a late night for me. Cracking monsters, fucking typing away <laughs> on my computer, in Discord with the boys, being like, dude, this is what I'm doing. Like, this is sick. And just planning out something that, like, I don't know why, it just jumped in my mind. And I came out the next morning, I was like, dude. I got a I got a business plan for us, and it might sound a little crazy. I kind of have a lot of it thought out already. Like, you better like buckle up real quick. And he's like, <laughs> and like when I, I like when I say my ideas, I ramble a little bit, and like I'm just overexcited about it. And like he just kind of sat there and was like, "What the fuck, dude?" And like I mean, you can like, like tell right. your from here. Yeah, I was like, all right. I was like, I was like, dude. You thought it out, didn't you? He's like, I got the brand. I hit up my boy. He drew us up a logo. <laughs> oh, I, I had a, lo no, like I had a every, logo done next everything. morning. Yeah, next morning he's like, this is the logo. You're like, bro, what did you do in your room <laughs> last night? <laughs> like, yeah, what, the whiteboard is just covered. Yeah, he's like, you wear like oversized like baggy shirts. So do I. I think we should go for that sort of vibe. And like, That's and so like, good though. That's like, I was so like, cool. hey, sick. I was like, I mean, what do you like? Like, let's do it. And then our first video we made, I was like, Yo, yeah, we're creating something sick. sick. I was and it was literally just a video. We he filmed us going to the track, and just chit chat and riding at the track. That was very it. basic. We cut it's it. like it a was six minute video. The simplest thing ever. But I was like, yo, 
that is sick just uh, that's engaging sick. yeah good i was yeah. like that's cool like because i get hyped on edits like when the when the beat drops oh, right yeah, yeah. as you're when, you, when it's Dude, it, it's in couldn't? it's in like regular motion and then it goes boom, right as you're, <laughs> and then it transfers to slow-mo and you're like that's me and bull bro just, we get high yeah, like, about cool. slow mo's yeah, and, and clips that's what, like i've i've wanted to do that and that's kind of was like my goal with my original vlogs but i'm not good enough at editing or like, obviously I'm writing, Your I time. can't like, I'm just not good enough with editing and know enough about cameras or anything to like, do like cool edits and cool angles. But you have the vision and in your mind. Did it. Yeah, I have the vision. Like I was like, I know what, I've seen a lot of edits and I know what looks cool. I have super sick songs that I think would fit. And then he did that, and in the first one, we used a song that we listened to on the. It oh, popped it on funny. the way it here. Popped on the way popped here. On the way here. Like we were, like, we were like, dude, we were like, yeah, this is. And it was a song that, like run nobody had used. It was. It's kind of like, yeah, it was run the jewels, but it was like, not really. Like, it wasn't like most people use like mainstream songs on yeah. their edits, and it was like. And after we were like, dude, this is sick. See, we that's were pumped on it. That's cool, especially like obviously you guys get that connection on that, and you guys have that same vibe. Like gas is perfect for that like you, you yeah. ran into like like a unicorn you know? yeah so that's what we Honestly, were like you're, oh, yeah. you're a unicorn <laughs> and he too he works at dbk mm -hmm. so he kind of knows the whole like like yeah I learned market. A lot about, he's like, around like yeah. the marketing that's my job at dbk is side. to market their product yeah, yeah. exactly so he knew oh. that he was kind of knew that and he was like hey like and obviously he wrote out the whole business plan he had our i think our the design of our first shirts that we're gonna come out with on the first night or something. Yeah, or, I, I he had this, he had, it was crazy and i was like all right and i was like dude i know nothing about any of that stuff and he's like i actually know a pretty decent amount and that's like, why you guys are perfect dude together. i was yeah. like hey let's do it yeah. like let's yeah, let's do sure. something like let's just start with the, with the with the youtube channel if it starts growing and if it gets bigger and we think that we can turn it into something let's turn it into something and now that was like what three months ago Four or five months ago? Fuck, I don't even know. I it just kind of my videos. No, it was like, right before Supercross started. So yeah. I guess it's been like eight, nine, ten months now. Wow. But it's decent now. Yeah. And like, we're like. We're almost a year deep. That's gnarly. To yeah, yeah, that so first like, year. Yeah, it cool. goes so, so fast. Yeah, and it's exactly. like. Dude, it's crazy I, to see where we've come since our yeah. first video. I'm sure like you guys too. Like, oh, dude, where it, you come from your first video. When I watched like, your first video, yeah, yeah. I'm like, that was so like bad. Yeah. You know? But like, like when you guys are talking about the music thing is like, I found like myself like always using like the rap traditional everybody's using the rap like it's sick i love when the rap yeah. beats hit like and i'm always gonna have a little bit too. of that but like i felt like on a branding side i was like dude like the rap that we're listening to like it's sick as fuck and it's it definitely brands still well oh yeah but dude like our alternative like kind of rock on what like our oldies like like i'm talking like the like the killers and that yeah. type yeah, vibe, yeah. you know. Yeah, exactly. like, I just Whatever. I look at that as more of just such a better place to like attack it, ta attack oh. like like a good fan base of like, damn, this music's good. Oh, dude, yeah. it's so funny. I'll come out like even last night. We were, I was out in the vlog last night. Yeah, I came out with three songs. And it's like you would never even know these songs existed. Like it was just some weird shit that I was like, damn, like this could be sick. And he turned them on. I was like, and I turned on like, hey, pick a song for the like, vlog. And he's like huh and then he's like wait okay yeah like oh like and this is like some random shit like no one like because you really... could envision in this stuff like he, he you obviously have the right mind to be like I, yeah i, I was like what, i was like okay I okay see. i could see a clip fitting in here and i know like his filming style now and i know what like angles and stuff that he likes to get like whip angles corner angle stuff and i'm like just from watching our videos obviously and seeing the clips that he does so i'm like all right, I could see this clip being yeah, he sick already, like, in there. Sees like, shot, yeah, you know? I'm like, all right, I could see that. And he's like, yup, yup. And like, we're like, it was funny because we were playing the music and it was like something. He was like, just wait, just wait. And like the beat, the beat like ramped up and I was like, okay, okay. And then like it dropped and I was just like, and he was like, yup, you already know. <laughs> yup. Like, that is like, so we, important same, to have that. It was that. the same like, like thing. And like, we already were both thinking the same thing. We were uh -huh. like, oh, and he was like, yeah, we didn't even have to say anything. We just could have been like, yeah, it's funny. <laughs> like, sick. Just Most let the, the music time, talk. He doesn't watch the vlogs until they're out to the public. Like, he'll like, oh, oh, really? oh like, I don't even, I don't if even, I'm even know, I'm like, it's going to be sick. Yeah. I'm like, it's going to be sick. And it's like, unless I'm super hyped on it, like, oh, I'll, I'll be like, dude, you got to come and watch this shit. But like, it's cool to have that trust in a writer, or just like in anybody to be like, okay, like, I know you're going to make something good for me. Like, you're not going to, like, I trust you fully. 
He never says, oh, you should, like, he he requests some shit, like, oh, we'll use this song, use that, but he never is like, like, dude, you gotta do it this way. But yeah. for yeah. editing yeah. space, though, too, it's, it's, you know? it's hard sometimes, like, when you're in your editing space, and you're zoned in, and then, like, like even I will have, like, my friends come in, and they give me, like, good takes on stuff, like, they give me, like, cool stuff, but sometimes they end up overloading me with too much, where I'm like, dude, yeah. I, like, I already have this this way. I'm not gonna turn it back yeah. now. You or they're know? like, do this, and you're like, okay, I'm getting there. I'm like, don't worry, I'm getting to, I'm yeah. getting, I'm getting to put that slow mo right there. Don't worry, it's coming. Um, are you gonna lean? What do you? Are you gonna lean on the world supercross? Are you allowed to? Isn't How's, it? Uh, isn't it? It's tomorrow, right? Yeah, it's tomorrow. tomorrow. I think it starts at like seven thirty or something. Yeah, AM. I'm probably not gonna watch it. Is but that I'll a? I'll keep up with it. What's the deal with the factory teams? And because I saw a lot of drama with like Roxanne and they're everything, just obviously. so like. I mean, it's just like that series isn't big enough yet. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's the first year doing it, um, and all the factory teams care about in the U.S. is is our series is making sure the our riders Supercross are there and motocross series um that is all that they care about like that's if like especially my team some guys have have went and rode overseas races in the past and gotten hurt and then not been ready for supercross yeah so they they're just kind of well it causes it. that causes like, a big problem for the team exactly. who's investing all this money in their rider and exactly. they go to so an outside like, source they don't want to they don't want to just let the rider they're, they're just like you know, we don't really want, we don't want to take that risk. Yeah. Um, so there when, is another side. To when it, from the guy, from our standpoint, we're like, dude, I want to go do a, a different fun. I want to have a little bit of fun at this race mm -hmm. and not feel like ultra pressured because it's a, it's a series and we're trying to win all these races. And like, cause once we get to supercross and motocross here, those are like serious. Like we're every we're showing up like serious. yeah, yeah like yeah. where if you go do some races like that it's still serious but you can at least have a little bit of fun with yeah it. you're yeah different. city you're and it's in Aust australia it's, right it's in the races in australia yeah, i think so right? so like all, all this over, weekend I this think. weekend's in uk the united oh it Kingdom, is oh, in cardiff i think i think, think. There, I think there's yeah, yeah i did see cardiff they're, they're but for over. the fans around the world they all have to travel to america to catch the american riders and yeah. stuff because yeah. none of us guys are going in oh, gp shit. and what stuff what's <laughs> good the goggles what up dog you look like asap with those goggles dude <laughs> what up, you look like uh, you look like uh, once when when Fox and Supreme collabed, and they had all the rappers walking around with the goggles on sideways. Yeah, I was on that set actually. That's oh, nice. No way. Yeah, that was sick. He's the sickest novice right now. Yeah. I, I can tell. Just got Dude. done at late I can night tell. Yeah, there's also, like a late night track over here. local, for yeah. sure. He's local, for yeah. sure. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I, I was like, I, I thought I could hold it. It cannot laugh. I'm like, not laugh. <laughs> <laughs> because we were like telling earlier, because Jackson was like, I didn't want to be on, I don't want to be on long. And I was like, okay, we'll call and you just hop on. I was like, but you should totally hop on fully geared up. Because I wanted to have fully. Why not? <laughs> straight yeah, up. That's funny. These are pretty fresh. You know, I, think, I know you're like a fox guy, right? <laughs> hey, uh, canvas, right? What? What are you on? Canvas? What? No, I ride for Fox. Oh, you ride for Fox. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, dude, I know more about him than you, dude, for sure. <laughs> like, I seen him one time, like, out there in a qualifier, but... <laughs> dude, you you're being every fun. stereotype right oh, now. Yeah. Like, like you're being every, every, like, guy that, yeah, you're... Yeah, I love you're it. You're doing it good. Yeah, it yeah. Good. Appreciate it. Appreciate yeah, it, dude. Yeah, yeah. But, but I actually don't ride a motorcycle at all, so... <laughs> no, I have a 1995 50Z. Dude, are, you gonna, are you guys going to go to the um, straight rhythm? No, the what is it called? The dirt day in the dirt. Day in the dirt. Day in the dirt. I usually end up going every year when somehow. Is it? When is it? Uh, when, in November. It's like Thanksgiving time. You know, being, I'm, I might. I'll probably I'll be out, out there doing some Dude, film. If he goes work. out, I'll go out. We're getting this guy on the the Pater race. Yeah. His Ooh, those, vintage those go 50. Hard. This guy's going to go hard taking dubs only. How many? How many? <laughs> how many? People Hopefully, I'm like racing like seven year olds and shit. Like, I want to be in like uh, their class. There's some drums out there. You yeah. can clean out, dude. Sure uh, take them out. Maybe from five year olds. Get I don't know. We'll fight you. I don't know if I can keep up with them, but we'll see. It's an old bike. <laughs> dude. Put saying? some power in her. <laughs> <laughs> Run some out of one. Okay. Dude, honestly, I'm going not out on a track is the funniest shit yeah. ever. This guy will go out there and he's just say it's like 
it's pure enjoyment, dude. Like you, there's everybody out there that takes it serious, and then you got dudes like this yeah. rocking Thor to the gills. I love to see. This that. is actually Shane's gear. So. <laughs> Doesn't fit me. <laughs> I was like, bro, please come in with the Thor. <laughs> That's funny. I Fucking my last race was what the Palmers. No, oh, how did that the go? Fifty. You Those raced that? Are gnarly. Yeah. Dude, you yeah. That? He, he, I I got like dead last, but it was fun as shit. Hell yeah, that's yeah. all. Yeah, I, I knew the Palmer, the the Palmer brothers. They uh they trained at um that's Caden and Kyson, right? Yeah. They trained awesome at, um, kids. Yeah, they trained at uh my training facility in Oklahoma. Like before they started getting heavy into pit bikes. Yeah. Like they trained out there, and then they started getting into pit bikes, and we were like, oh dude, like this is. We were just seeing like the first time they really blew up was whenever they uh it was whenever um the I think race was, against Michael Lee. Yep. Yeah. That that one. That and race. I was like, hey, at that's Elsmore, such a, right? I, I was like, dude, that's. That's perfect. Like, that's yeah, something like it fits them perfect because, like, it was. See, it was, my t- take on it was like, like <clears throat> Michael Lee. Respect to him. He's a he's a great rider, you know. But he came into mini bikes serious, like going against yeah, other can't. serious you riders. Can't ride it. You can't, you can't ride, ride it serious, serious when you're yeah. going against the kids that are like blood sweat and tears on pit bikes i feel like it's a whole different thing yeah you know these well, kids you're riding in you go from like riding like serious fully geared up to riding in t-shirts shirts or t-shirts t-shirts shorts and vans yeah and a helmet yeah. all yeah. you're wearing is a helmet and goggles yeah. no glo- like you just don't even you don't even care it's 100%. a complete different it's a complete different like it's a complete different scene and and yeah and you're shifting gears on the side of the track i mean dude like it was a perfect <laughs> yeah. it was a perfect fucking opportunity for him to clean him out you know and like afterwards i heard him say like oh he was like like uh, by the way i'm not shooting shades with him but like afterwards i heard him say like they why are you guys taking this serious i'm like dude you were taking this serious and there i knew i know there was some money on the line yeah, yeah, there's Dude, I'm taking it really serious out there. Yeah. For a pit bike race. Well, I it wasn't like 10 kids, grand or something. Uh, bro, something like that. <laughs> yeah, it was a lot for a pit bike race. Yeah, dude, dude, that's, like, that's, like, that's like no, the Supercross main event. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like, dude, what? We were yeah. watching that like, this it year just together. Blew up. Yeah, I, w- I did. I wanted to be in there so bad. Oh, but dude. It would have been six years. Politics, been man. It is what it is. I wanted to be in there, but besides that fact, the Palmers, dude, they are like fast. Like, those kids are like. Fast on pit bikes. They like, rip on pit bikes. They're like rev limited, dude. Like, they just rev limit around riding. the whole I get track. Nervous it's crazy. When I'm on the track and they're like on pit bikes against me, I'm like, dude, just go past me, dude. I'll like pull off. Like, <laughs> That's how I feel. Like, if we ever rode together, I would be scared if I heard Austin coming up and be like, oh, fuck, I need to get off this. I'm, not an, <laughs> dude, I'm not an aggressive rider, yeah, yeah. dude. Like, I, like, if somebody's coming behind me, I'm like, dude, you need to go. Just do it. Do what you got to do, bro. <laughs> That's funny. So, Forkner. Everybody wants to know this question, dude. Do you spoon with that name, Forkner? Y- yes. Oh, okay. Yes. Little or big? Either. <laughs> Ooh. Most All right. of the time, big. But if the occasion calls for, you know, for watching Love Island, oh, I feel okay. like getting in touch with my feminine side. Okay. Maybe I'll- Maybe I'll be Little Spoon. All right. Ooh, okay. I like that. I like, <laughs> being, I like being Little Love Spoon Island as well. Thing, the Love Island thing is more often than not, usually, <laughs> Riley. She's <laughs> big, big Spoon or Little Spoon? Because his last name is Forkner. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I love being Little, little spoon. spoon. I like being I'm, Little what Spoon. What am I? I'm Little Spoon. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll be a man. Dude, I like Little Spoon, dude. I'm a Little Spoon guy. Hey, I'm not, I'm not <laughs> mad about it. Like, I'm usually a bigger Spoon guy because I'm a big dude. <laughs> but like, if a girl wants to like cuddle a little bit and she's doing it like that, why not? Dude, <laughs> yeah, Little geez. Spoon, Let it flow. more opportunity for a back scratch. Hey, fair yeah. enough. Riley's yeah. got long legs too, so sometimes it makes the spooning process a little <laughs> awkward. <laughs> my my torso is longer, but her legs are super long with a short torso. So like we're we're just like opposites. So sometimes that it makes it weird. Opportunity for like the bar stool, dude. <laughs> just, yeah. just ask you that yeah. question. You gave the perfect answer. All me. I need is ice cream, and I can be like, "What's his name?" Yeah. <laughs> but, oh yeah, the uh, Glenny Balls. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's what I'm going for. Really. Really, yeah, you know, be a Glenny, but I really <laughs> wanted to know um, because this kid is this kid's coming in hot. Hayden Deegan, like, what's your take on him? He's well, from what I've seen from um, uh, from outdoors that he's written a little bit, um, he's he'll send it. 
But yeah. that's what you do as a rookie. You yeah. send it. I, I was the same way. Like, well, yeah. as a rookie, like now, years later, I've gone through a bunch of injuries and stuff. I'm like a little bit more calm. Yeah. But like, dude, when you come in, you're all you know is to twist the throttle and go yeah. fast. And like, I've seen and I've seen it that he's doing it. Hey, that like, kid's got to respect that too. You know, like you, like someone like you telling him something like this. Like, well, that's that's what I think he 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 figured it out pretty quick. And that's just that's just something that like you learn as a like. And once he starts racing Supercross too, it's just it's a learning process. Is you gotta like, like, once you get to the pros, it's almost like you gotta respect it a little bit more. Yeah. Like, like I feel like the tracks are gnarlier, and especially Supercross. Like, if you just try to go out there and just ride the bike wide open and just, it doesn't. You're gonna get yourself hurt. Yeah. Like, you yeah. got you gotta almost respect the track and like respect the other riders and like it's just changes yeah. a little bit. Where like as on and on amateurs, you can you can get a, a terrible start and come through the pack. Where the pros, I mean, you can, but those guys are a lot faster. Just mm -hmm. once there's there in your class as an amateur, there's two maybe three fast yeah, guys. Yeah, that's the only guys. Once fighting. you get to pros, it's there's tw if you're on a supercross track, if you're in a supercross race, there's 22 fast guys. That, so like in are, a sense too, it's like his position like. Like especially him balls to the wall to be in podium, like be into that top ten spot, like it could be dangerous for him, is what you're saying, because like you got to learn to be at that pace, twenty four seven. Like he like he was at that pace, com probably comfortably, but like you, like staying comfortable and not making mistakes in that same pace, like twenty four seven. Is, yeah, is definitely just, something you learn along the way, right? It's just a learning process, and like nothing really surprised me about his pro debut or anything i was just like kind of i mean it really unless you go out and win yeah. i wouldn't have been really surprised it's just like it's just like it's a learning process coming yeah. from the amateurs to the pro racing it's you can do as much training and you can do as much preseason prep and everything where you go into the race and you're like i got this and then you get to the race and you're like oh everybody I, else did the same thing i don't yeah <laughs> these guys yeah. actually they're better than me. Yeah. Like maybe they have more natural talent. Mm -hmm. So that means you got to work harder or so th then yeah. you're like, damn, there's instead of, you know, one or two guys that I had to worry about, I now have to worry about six or seven guys yeah. to, that could potentially win a race. Six or seven guys, at least that could potentially win a race. So then that just changes things. And a you're, whole like, different you're like, Oh, okay. So I got to, start ahead almost every time or it's going to be hard to pass them yeah i gotta be perfect on my starts every time so then you just start thinking about all that stuff and it just gets it just changes yeah. it's just a difference between amateurs and pros but i mean he'll learn that like yeah. the, i mean every everybody goes through the learning process and that's why winning your first couple of years is pretty much out of the question yeah like you're not really your first year you're definitely not expected to win your second year you might be expected to win a couple races but probably not a championship yeah. or it's a, once you get to your third year that's why and that's where it was for me my first year i was i was um a rookie doing rookie shit yeah. second year i think i won two races third year was in 2019 and i won like five out of the six races and then tore my acl but that was like that was my third year yeah. and that was like it's it almost takes you're breaking yourself until in your three years it takes you two years of going through it to then be like, okay, I, I got yeah, it. You're now. breaking yep. yourself. Yeah. Yep, you think exactly. it's like a mindset thing or like you just growing as a writer? Or? I think, it, yeah. Like, what's mindset more thing. mental? Just been on, there, done that. I think yeah. it's just been there, done that. And just knowing what to expect. Going into the first race and, and knowing what to expect. Whereas you go mm. in and you touch the track, you're wide open. You're trying to be the fastest guy every practice session. You're trying yeah. to do the, you're trying to go quad, like where it's like, dude, it, Relax a yeah, little bit. Yeah, save it Cause for like the, the, you just you just know what to expect. I can tell you that practice. If you can qual, I've qualified eighth, sixth, fifth in practice, and then won the race. Yeah. Not even close. So yeah. it's like it's like, it, you just you're like learn, saving you just yourself for the what, main what race. What really matters almost, yeah. and what doesn't, and what what is really important. And the only thing that's really important, winning a heat race. Yeah, it's cool. But it's, yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, you're there to be to win the main event yeah, yeah in yeah. supercross or whatever whatever like the he case was saying, is so like colin like 
feel that. Colin's like he's one hell of a golfer. Then I feel like golf yeah. is like probably in my eyes, I feel like golf has to be at least sixty to seventy percent mind. Oh, dude, it's ninety like percent mind, bro. Mind. Yeah, okay, it's like mindset crazy. and like you kind of have to be like mentally correct yeah. on things. Like, what would you say your skill level and like moto for you is? Like mind, like even manifesting races and just putting your head to it more than everything. If I well, if I it's mindsets huge in yeah just everything. that's why yeah, i felt like, like i related so to big. what you it's said so big and everything it's like and that's also stra- stra- strategic things you do it's like it's just um for me if i think about things too much it's worse oh yeah if i just and that's why when the first couple races i was good but i wasn't the fastest guy on the track at atlanta in that heat race i was the fastest guy on the track even at foxborough when i won that race i came through the pack and won I was probably the fastest guy on the track. I mean, me and Jet were first and second. We came through the pack, but I was good enough to win the race. So, yeah. like, when I, and that's I wasn't thinking during those. I was just doing. Balls when you wall. just when you just when I just do, and let my muscle memory mm-hmm. and let I know how to ride a dirt bike really well. That's how yeah. I got to this level. Mm-hmm. If I just let myself do that, yeah. I'll probably be pretty good. It's whenever I start thinking and with getting hurt and all the stuff, that's what really, where it really starts to like mess mess with with you. Cause yeah, you're like, okay, is it really worth it to do this? Oh, maybe I I'm in second. I'm in third. That's good. That's points. That's some bonus money. Maybe I should just settle when, if you're just like, nah, I'm going to go as fast as I can from when the gate drops to when the, like if I'm just going to do what I know how to do at, at some points, that's maybe not going as fast as that's if you're coming through the pack, you got to be a little cautious, watch the guys in front of you, but it's yeah. not overthinking. It's just for me, it's just doing, it's just shutting my brain off and just yeah. doing stuff. And that's yeah. why it's, you lock in tunnel vision. That's the yeah, same way I vision. play it's golf. Just, that's, that's all yeah. you just do what comes natural. Like if, if somebody goes down in front of you, you don't think, Oh, should I go left or should I go? You just go. You, j- you don't think. You just yeah. do it. If you fall, you get back up, you keep going. You don't think but about But your oh, brain is I? also – It's reaction. Your brain is also driven to the point where like you, you've gotten to that point where you don't think and you make some of the rightest decisions yeah. from just doing it. Yeah. That's like – that's where I was saying like, like the crash with Jet, for example. That whole – I already knew what was going to happen. Like I already knew when I had to – like there was so much that went through my mind but also – I, I already knew everything. Like, it was like, okay, if we touch, I'm done. I'm crashing. I'm going to jump off. Mm. And it was, that happened in in a quarter of a second. It yeah. was, oh, touch, jump. Like, in, yeah. like, a, I had to make that decision. It's a reaction. Super, yeah, 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 it's not, at that point, it's not a thought. It's yeah. just a reaction. Yeah. You just know what to do because it's either happened or you just have, you just know enough about riding. And I've been doing it since I was three. So, I mean, yeah. You just know it's just muscle memory and just that's where like you just have it trained into you you'd yeah. probably be a good golfer then knowing how to shut off your mind like that yeah of course i mean we're, i think we're about to wrap up pretty soon here anyways yeah. um i think it's sure. been a, dude this has been one of my favorite podcasts actually because i haven't actually gotten to talk to you you yeah. know like i haven't got to like pick your brain or anything and get like even your i, I don't have anybody else's side of stories on this on any situation stuff but like I don't know, just learning about you as a person is pretty cool and, like, your guys' friendship in general and, like, what you guys have, like, up and coming and your goals. That's fucking amazing. Yeah. I think it's purely cool as hell. And, um, yeah, I would like to wrap up. You got anything, any questions you want to ask him since you're so late? Shit, dude. I don't know, <laughs> bro. <laughs> fucking. Yeah. All right, Forkner. Can I call you Forkner? Uh, yeah. Oh, I all call right. him Forky sometimes. It's forky? Yeah. Fucking A, dude. Fork daddy, I've heard. Shit, I don't, I don't know, know I'm man. comfortable with. So, let's see. I had something earlier, but I forgot. I got really stoned. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I was waiting for the get tagged in. I almost fell asleep up there. Uh, fell asleep in the gear. <laughs> but yeah, I'm. T- I don't know, man. I'm just here to fucking say what up. I don't really know much about moto, but fucking, I really ag- like the mindset thing. I feel like I relate with that for sure. With like golf and moto and shit yeah. for sure. Shutting it off. It's the reaction mindset's the most like it's the most important thing it's like sports are it's gnarly because it's just a lot of mindset like i mean you obviously have to be good but when you're in the top one percent or when you're at the top of the sport then just being good isn't in like you got to be able to control your mind and be able to think positive and just 
know what to do with your mindset. So yeah. well, that's yeah. awesome, man. I, I do appreciate you guys coming on. Um, link in description for all fun. I, uh, I'm excited to see it. Link in description for the Spotify as well. For all you Spotify listeners, what up? Um, That's good. What up, Spotify? Thank you guys. Again, appreciate it. Make sure to like, subscribe. Do what you got to do, dude. This podcast is done. Peace. amigos. Done. Over. Bus is out. I got to go race. I got to go train for a race, dude. Jackson, do I press the green button?